everyday stew here. Something I've been doing a bit lately is replacing all the lights in the house with LEDs because of they're more efficient and they last longer and stuff like that. So something I've sort of looked at was replacing this old halogen spotlight that I've got that we use for, I use it for hunting and also for uh, like going out if I have to check irrigation at night or something like that. So I was looking at replacing that with an LED and this is what I've come up with. These, I picked these up at a, at a field days at Elmore and um, these are Creeland LED torches. Now they're pretty serious, uh, especially this one's pretty serious. It takes two of the, the high density lithium batteries and it's got a fairly good range on it. It's fairly comparable to this which I'll do some comparisons in a moment. But something I picked up last year was this little one, which is a, it's a red LED, which I found is really good uh, for foxes and things like that, that animals you don't want to scare away. If they don't get spooked by this light at all. So that's pretty comparable to sticking one of these, like the filters on these, on the halogen lights. Uh, these don't just come in orange, they come in red and other colours. I chose the orange one because I thought it'd be easier to see but I've found it's uh, it's pretty hard on your eyes when you're, when you're out spotlighting and so that's why I kind of went for the, the LED to try and see whether I could get it to be better which I found it a lot, lot better on your eyes. Now this one here, the 7G 5PL Creeland is a very powerful torch. Uh, it comes standard with just a normal lens, which you get, you'll see when you use the normal lens, you get a lot of spill around the main, the main focus point. Now, this has got on it uh, what they call their culminator lens, which what that does is it concentrates the beam into one spot. So when you shine the light, you can actually see it's just a square, which is the same shape as the actual globe. So all that spill light that you get with the other lens uh, is gone. And it all sort of pushes it all into the middle. Now, I've thought I'd sort of do a quick video and do a bit of a comparison between a couple here. So probably the first thing to show you would be the old spotlight versus the LED and just see the difference between the two and really sort of get an idea of how good the LEDs actually are. torch with and without the culminator lens on it. And as a comparison, I'll show you the, the red LED versus the orange filter over the spotlight to see what the difference is there. As you can see, the LEDs are pretty good for, for what they are. They're, they're so much smaller and so much more portable. Like these, you can actually mount them on a, on a scope. They're easy to move around with and everything. As long as the batteries are charged, you've really got no worries. They're a lot easier to use than, say, the old Spotlight. So yeah, it, it'd be interesting to see how they last like with the battery and things like that over a, over a full night or whatever you're doing. So I'll put in the description a bit of a link of where these have come from and 
uh, how I how I've got hold of them. Let us know in the comments what you guys are using so I can compare and have a look and I'm always interested to see what other people are doing and chuck a thumbs up for the video and I'll see you next time.